Honored clergy and guests, thank you for all being here today. I first want to congratulate Edward and Steve on their award. We all look up to you, especially the younger and the youth. We look up to you. You are our role models. And Adam, Andronik, and Godin, you guys are doing an awesome job. Keep up the good work. It seems like just yesterday, my brother and I were running around St. Narcisse as four and five years old, probing all the seminarians with questions as my dad embarked on the biggest spiritual journey of his life, the calling to the priesthood. And when he finally went through, you know, we were young kids, he was a businessman, and he decided he had the calling to be a uh, priest, and he uh, graduated from St. Narcisse. He was assigned by Hovnan Sarpazan to St. Gregory Illuminator Church as the first Canadian-born Armenian priest. And we're working on getting that in the Guinness Book of World Records, you know? <laughs> Anyways, that was a good parish for him to start off with because it was small, you know, it's a very old parish in Canada, and he did a great job. He assembled the youth there. And uh, with the talks with uh, Haja and uh, Hovnan Sarpazan, he... Uh, was called to serve in the American Diocese at uh, St. Mary in Livingston, which is, was a bigger parish, but still not the size of um, St. Zog and Mestro. It was, a, you know, it was an interesting time as my father uh, moved here right uh, prior to 9-11, and you know, our church was heavily affected there, so I knew that built his, uh, his ministry, and he did a great job with it, and we really loved being in New Jersey and also in St. Gregory. And finally, you know, we moved to a state where one in ten people have the last name that ends in IAN. You know, it was a big, you know, huge honor to be assigned here at St. Zog and Mesro. We just uh, celebrated our hundred years here. And, um, you know, it's a big blessing. And I know my father, um, you know, he's touched so many of you too. And it's, you know, it's a blessing to be here. It's very humbling. There's one downside though. Uh, the only person that's negatively affected by this is my father's doctor, because it seems like everyone could piece to put more butter in your pilaf, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm speaking on behalf of my brother and my sister today, and we were talking before, it's very easy to forget and uh, realize like what a blessing it is for the 21st century to have a father that's a priest in one of the most ancient Armenian, uh, the Armenian Orthodox Church. And, uh, you know, it's really humbling to see, like, not just what he does for me, he's also your spiritual father, too. And, you know, I just want to thank everyone for being here uh, on his big day. And it's also, you know, our big day, too. And unfortunately, my mom, you know, I wish she was here with us, too. She has, uh, she's singing, but, you know, you guys have been so good to us, and I want to thank you. And I love you, Dad. Aww. 